However, there are nine critical things that I think uh, need to be done with this motor if you decide to purchase one. Probably the first and most important is that you have to put gear oil in. There is no gear oil in this motor. So you need to take the prop off, the pin out, and fill this with gear oil. Secondly, you need to grease this pivot. And there is a grease zert on the other side. I'll show you that in a side video. Very simple to do, but you need to put some grease in here. And that would be done, need to be done probably yearly. Third is check over the motor overall. Make sure the, the bolts and everything are tight and secure. Learn how to take your engine cover off. You do have to pull the cord out a little bit for this to happen. And there's some clips back here. Check the inside of the motor out. Make sure your connections are good. I didn't have any real problems overall, but it's just a good thing to, uh, to learn the different parts, make sure that they're snug. Fourth, never use any ethanol or ethanol blended fuel in this motor. It will rot out these fuel lines. It will also rot out your primer valve. So no ethanol fuels at all. Number five, consider using or applying bee wax or beeswax to your pull cord. These are very uh, thin and not necessarily the best material and I think it'll help it last longer. It'll provide some lubricant. Also there is a little bit of a glitch on the inside of the motor, there's a guide that tends to come off. What I did is, uh, mine were secure now, but I wrapped some black electrical tape, a half strip, cut it in half lengthwise, and wrapped it around that. Number six, consider replacing the spark plug. It came with a Torch L7T, and within three hours of my break-in period, Something went wrong with mine. The motor stopped running. It backfired a couple times. Fortunately, I figured out it was a spark plug and replaced it with a Champion CJ8. That's C Charlie J John 8. Haven't had a problem since. Then you need to break this motor in. And that is starting out with a fuel mixture of 35 parts gasoline and one part oil. It does come with a, a container to help you uh, make that mixture correct. Then you need to run the motor in one hour increments or one hour blocks of time for a total of 10 hours. And within those one hour blocks, you need to run the motor at different speeds. However, never run it at full speed during break in, just moderate and lower speeds. Also, you want to make sure that when you are breaking it in, that your speed is high enough that you do have the water coming out of the exhaust. At an idle, it will not come out. It's only air cooled at an idle. I don't think you should run it that long at idle. You should run that break in period for about 10 hours. I would say minimally 10 hours. After break in, then you can change the fuel oil ratio to 50 parts of gas to one part of oil. So 50 to 1 mix after break in. Speaking of breaking the motor in, when you start it, you need to use the choke, and this may seem backwards. The lever in the on position is the motor on or running normal. To choke it, you turn that to off, and that shuts off the air supply, so off the choke is activated. Once it's started, move it to on, and that's the motor running. One item I did not include in my initial list that I am going to try to replace with something a little better quality is the air filter system. You'll see when I remove this cap, the air filter is just a very thin sponge item. So you also need to take special precaution 
when you replace this because it has to go in a certain way. There's some little posts in here. There's two or three little air inlets that bring air in from the back and so you've got to go around those so they're on the outside of that filter. Just one more small thing that I'm going to try and self-improve it. Probably my final recommendation would be to take your mini toolkit with you when you're going out fishing or whatever you're using with the motor. The extra pull start. Uh, they also provide some extra shear pins, a cotter pin, the little flywheel for the water coolant, and I'm just going to go ahead and take the extra spark plug. It's easy to change in the field and if it got fouled up or some other problem like I had, you'd have it. So that's, uh, that's my recommendations. My list of, I think, nine areas that I think will make your experience with this little motor a lot more enjoyable. And I'll be posting first time out on the water as soon as spring hits. Thanks for watching.